This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hey everyone, welcome back to Commander Clash, and this week is possibly one of my favorite uh, weeks we've ever done. Uh, we'll see how it turns out, but I'm <laughs> I'm very I was very excited for this week because it's Edric week. For some reason, two on the two weeks ago, we we record a week in advance, but two weeks ago for you guys, for some reason, out of the blue, not prompted at all or anything, the comment section was just flooded, flooded with people wanting me, Tomer, to play Edric. <laughs> just out of the blue, just flood everybody just wanted to see Edric again, everybody's favorite commander, make a resurgence. And it's been two years, 11 months, and 10 days since I last got the chance to play Edric. Not that anybody's counting or anything, but yeah, the time has finally arrived. Edric is back since the first Commander Clash where I just made such a bad taste in everybody else's mouth for the crew uh, that they banned Edric, me from playing Edric for, for that long, almost three years. Finally... <laughs> Edric gets its return, and I am, whew, I am excited, or I was excited. I was very excited. So let's talk about uh, each person's take on Edric. Uh, I think I'm just going to go off right at the bat. I, I personally, Tomer, hello, I built basically the bog standard Edric of my dreams. I actually assembled my own personal Edric deck fairly recently for GP Vegas, and I never actually played it, and I haven't actually played it. It's just sitting on my shelf. Um, but this is like a slightly better version of the, the personal version I have. Um, I went all out. Uh, just the soft band cards are, are what I've adhered to. So no cards over $100, um, no Cyclonic Rift, and a bunch of other just random things like Sol Ring and whatnot. Uh, and I'll I'll leave the soft ban list in the in the comments sec in the article section so people can see it because everybody always mentions that. But yeah, this is very standard Edric. Play a lot of small dudes, attack, draw cards, play more dudes, keep attacking, draw more cards. It's the best thing ever. It's my favorite deck, and uh, I'm really excited. Or I was really excited. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that is the standard over here. Why do you keep saying was Tony? Well, yeah, I was wondering that too. Let's move over to Vince then. <laughs> what what deck are you bringing to this week, Vince? You told Hello, me a little bit before. Everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, because we're breaking a lot of rules this week, we're playing all playing the same commander for the first, second time ever, or first time ever on Commander Clash. Uh, mm -hmm. second, time, second time, second time. time Belder Griff. And we're first. and we're also going we're going ham, aren't we? As, as Thomas said in his email, to play uh, aside from soft ban list tuned, multiple turn-taking, powerful Edric decks. I thought I'd make a return to everyone's favourite archetype, Stacks. So I am playing <laughs> anti-Edric, Edric Stacks. I am also playing, I'm going to put it out there now, comment section, have a look over the uh, have a look over the deck list in front of you now. I'm playing two very expensive cards. Now, we've got that soft ban around $100, but we have talked about playing cards that cost more than that if it fits your deck or your archetype very closely. We've had some Gears Cradles and Bits and Bobs. I've played a Lion's Eye in Teshar, for example, Lion's Eye Diamond. This week, I won't reveal them just yet, but these guys know, know what's coming. Um, I'm playing two very expensive decks because they fit with the theme of the deck. But as you can also tell, beyond the stacks, I'm also playing another sub-theme. Uh, you'll notice an unusually high number of cer a certain permanent type, shall we say. Um, so yeah, I'm here to slow everyone else down. Uh, like a referee, I'm asking everyone to pay, play nice and not get too degenerate. And apparently that's already put Tomer on tilt. So um, the politics have already begun, guys. The politics have already begun. I will begun. throw it out there because I mentioned before the recording, I got a lot of flack for being metagamey for a week, specifically <laughs> Mono White Week. I got a lot of flack for it. This week, however, Vince goes full out metagamey with an ant specifically anti Edric stack deck. So <laughs> let me, I, I'm just curious. I'm curious how the comment section will take it. In my defense, I did say with Mono White, it's the decks are underpowered as it is. So having metagame answers to them is a little bit. No, I don't think the circle was that bad. I was mainly joking about how bad it was when we were having the game. Um, and people take me too seriously, I think. But I think that's a bit worse than what I'm doing, where I'm trying to stop possibly one of the best commanders ever printed from being too obnoxious. 
by playing cards like Ensnaring Bridge and Trinisphere. So, um, and yeah. for colours and anything that deals with Storm oh, I've got, I've and got that. a lot of toys, Toma. I can't wait to show them to you. Oh man, yeah, I'm in, I'm in a hundred percent tilt mode. So we've already established how the politics will go in this game. Uh, yeah. So that is Vince's deck. Uh, Richard, what did you end up with? What style of Edric? Uh, I'm very excited because I spent like literally an hour trying to build stacks before I thought it was too yes, cool. Yes. I thought <laughs> I was like, Vince is probably gonna build it. So I pivoted, but I'm excited to see what Vince actually brought to the table because I, I've mauled over a lot of the cards <laughs> for a long time. But I went with Merfolk. I wanted an Edric y deck, but you know, not the elf ball, not the normal taking turns, but there happens to be a tribe with a lot of one drops in, in blue and there are all kinds of useless one drop merfolk ready to draw me cards so i'm going merfolk there's a little sub theme in my deck you'll see some some special cards uh but i think this is edric in spirit but not your typical edric deck i i think the tribal player sticking to tribe is is quite fitting uh, and Merfolk yeah. got some Simic potential, especially with Ixalan kind of injecting a little bit of extra goodness there. So that could be a cool way of taking it. Yeah, you guys are lucky. I was about to go mono green and play choke. <laughs> but uh, I, I decided to, to be on theme here. Play play the namesake of the website. Play fish. And uh, play Tomer's favorite card the way it was meant to be played. Drawing lots of cards off little useless creatures. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting literally that everybody would just play like a hardcore Edric deck and we just see what happens in Edric Bowl. But no, I was wrong. It's fine though. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not tilted. Anyway, Seth, are you playing uh, Snacks too? I, 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 I know. No, I am not playing Snacks. I went the tribal route as well, but probably the more typical tribal route, which is Elf. So I'm playing... <laughs> I don't know if you call it Elf Ball, but it's an Edric Elf deck. It's got some combos thrown in. Elves work really well with Edric because not only do you get a lot of random dorky creatures on turn one and turn two, but they also make mana. So it kind of does double duty. You can attack with them to draw cards, and then you can also use them to play the cards that you draw by making extra mana. Uh, so yeah, Edric Elves, uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know. So I knew that... <laughs> Tomer's extra turn spells would be a consideration, so I did build with that in mind. I'm certainly not stacks, but when I was building, I was like, all right, Tomer's going to try to take extra turns. Someone should probably be able to deal with that, but... I also think I have some anti-stacks tech. Elves are really good at blowing up things like artifacts and enchantments. So I have a lot of elves that might help us stave off the stacks pieces too. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Can we become friends now, Seth? <laughs> yes, we can. Be, I will team up with the stacks player. You let me You let me win, Vance. Oh, my God. Good. Oh, oh, my Tomer, God. Tomer's already going for me. So I need to make allies. You know, this was, my, this was the, the week I looked forward to the most after three years of not playing Edric. <laughs> well, how and about next week we can stolen do... Stolen um, that, that, that happiness for me, Vince. You can do the same thing to me next week. We can play uh, Thalia Bowl, and then you can not play stacks while we all play stacks. Oh, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got the deck descriptions out of the way. Let's let's jump into the good stuff, shall we? Ooh. I go first. Oh, no. Uh, Ooh. this hand is... Well, I mean, uh, this is... No. I think four lands is too much for Edric. Ugh. Oh, did you cut... I didn't know how many lands to run. Because uh, I... Just assumed I was drawing lots of cards, but maybe Vince is going to stop all of this. <laughs> Honestly, Actually, there's very few effects that stop you from drawing extra cards in these colors, so I, I can't... It's not going to be like the Yellow Snow on a week. I mean, I'm running 33 lands. Again, I haven't actually played... 33? I wow. haven't... That is so low. One is a dry... That's so it's, low. it's 34 with Dried Arbor, but uh, one of the, the things that I, I mentioned is I actually haven't played a lot of Ezra games. I played a few. I one when I wrote the article, the budget Edric article. Um, I played one on Commander Clash, and then I built an Edric deck, and I never actually got to play it, the physical copy. So I'm not like the biggest pro on Edric, but I think 33 sounds about right. You don't want to get more than three. Talks, yeah. yeah, you have. Yeah, so I went down to 36, dorks. and I got so scared. <laughs> I, I played 33 too, actually. 
This is wow. You... I should have cut land some more sax pieces. <laughs> uh, I spent so long cutting cards. I could have just cut all these lands. I didn't need. Let's mull. Yeah, it's a free. The game. only, the only being, I've got, I've got thirty six lands. I think could draw an arbor, and I've got a one land hand. This hand is um, acceptable. This hand is okay. Oh man. Hmm. My hand is functional, but I don't do anything until turn three, which is really awkward because like my entire deck costs one and two mana, so I'm in a mulligan. <laughs> Are, are you counting for oh, all the stacks no. pieces coming down? Oh no! <laughs> all right, turn one sphere resistance. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go to six. Oh no, Vince! Vince Uh-oh. goes before me. He gets a stacks piece down first. <laughs> no, um, I don't even think I'm playing ancient tomb actually because of my mana base is a weird one. Um, with what I was doing, I, I probably should be playing ancient tomb, but I'm not. And I cut chalice as one of my final cuts. Which, because like, the chance of you playing on turn one and it being effective are quite slim. Hmm. Seth is on five. I am down to five. I five is okay. I mean, it's five cards, but it's keepable. You're meant to be my ally. Please don't look into death. <laughs> <laughs> it's Edric. You'll draw cards back in no time. Uh, awkwardly, if you have a functional. One hand. of my two creatures has zero power, which is. Probably not the what? best for Edric. <laughs> for Edric week. Or Ornithopter. Ornithopter for that. Alright, we'll, we'll try it. Right. That, that's, not, that's not how this card works. Alright, this hand is not great, but... I mean, that's all you need, right? You gotta, you gotta have a turn two as well. Stack some, Ben. Start off Stack some. Here we go, it's stacks time, baby. <laughs> Ancient Tomb Turn by Tabernacle. <laughs> nah, it's just this. Aww. Oh, yes. That gets your Toller. <laughs> your Tabernacle. Yeah, he must be me. desperate oh, to be playing God. this. It gets Ensnaring Bridge. It gets Ensnaring no, Bridge? What? Oh, wait, doesn't it? That's oh, a, no, no. A, a common mistake. A, it has to be a zero. Oh, no, oh, zero no, no screwed it up. It's zero. Yeah. It does wait, get what lands. what do you have a zero that you need to transmute yeah. for? Packed? All, well, all you your get lands. All lands and like all... Like Tabernacle. The, yeah, you could even get like a Mana Crypt, a zero cost spells as well. We're not playing Crypt, but it did at one point get Chalice before I cut it, so... Is that non-invasive merf- <laughs> what, what, merfolk? It's a sandbar oh. merfolk. Here, here's the beauty, guys. Merfolk have island walk. This is if I play the right pieces. Yes, yeah, in this particular Ooh. meta, actually, like in a typical Edric deck, you're all focusing on basically flying creatures, unblockable creatures, creatures that can't be blocked except for flying. And if you're actually in an Edric mirror then flying gets a lot worse, I think, because just all other creatures have flying as well. But so Island not... Walk gets better, right? Island Walk does get wor- better. Forest Walk also gets better. Stagnants. I mean, I, I'm not I... really thinking about it. You know, this is, this is, enemies. This is enemies. enemies. On, on the upside, I don't, I don't really have any stacks pieces in hand, unless you include this one card here. But that's only one card. But you might just draw all the stacks cards that are in your deck. Uh, no, I'm, I'm straight up. I'm straight that, up attacking you. That is his Vince. plan. This yes. is this is the plan. This is it. Oh, Toma! No, you can't. You like can't. That. Don't even. We're not. This is not happening. Don't be like that, Toma. <laughs> Does like uh, tr- what is a chalice for one stack piece? What's oh, coming down? I'm so scared. Oh, oh it's a hanger back. What? That's, That's not that like stacky. card. What is this? This is oh. part of my other theme. Are you playing literal smokestack? <laughs> oh, um, boy. Hanger back's pretty good. It's like KCI. Literal smokestack. Are you doing KCI attempt number two? That that was a that was a consideration as well, but I didn't go that deep. Hmm. Okay. All right. That's a good merfolk. I can see what's going to happen here, Toma. You're going to attack me over and over for a good few turns, and then just die to t- to Richard's merfolk. I'm totally fine with this. What? I'm taking the Tom um, route of I'm aiming at you and Hey, Tom was overly nice last week. Like it creeped me out a little bit. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, really. Well uh in the land of one ones, Devoted Druid actually That was actually very nice to you too, Vince. Seems pretty good. Last game. <laughs> This doesn't attack for cards, Seth. It doesn't call you cards. Uh, it has mana, though, which is good. <laughs> I what, think. Are, what are you doing, Seth? <laughs> what is you this? can't block. Everything has evasion. There's no blocking in this like, game. It, it, are, it <laughs> adds mana. They it are, but mana. there's one ones. Did you go through all the one ones that, that yeah. produce mana and you, you Yes, I more? have all. I ha- 
You know, well, you can never have too many mana producers, I don't think. I guess. Who wants to draw cards? Uh, uh, is it Edric time already? I don't have a creature with power. Let's wait on Edric. That's, that's a shame, because Edric's coming. <laughs> Let, let's wait on Edric, please. Nah. <laughs> Vince, where's the stacks pieces? I haven't got them, but don't oh. worry. Tomo won't let that stop him. <laughs> Crop rotation <laughs> into the tabernacle. Should I just so, like wait until you do get your stacks pieces and then feebly no, no, attack no, you? But uh, but I am going to suggest before we get too far into to play an actual game of EDH as opposed to hit Vince as many times as you can. That's all I'm going to suggest. <laughs> who brought? <laughs> That's who I told brought you, Vince. You should opt to Edric, skip the deck tech. Who brought anti Edric <laughs> to Edric week? I, I... Fine. Vince is an American, but he needs he needs to like take the fifth on the deck tech, so so Tomer can't gun for him from the well, get go. He gets I, at least a couple turns. Well, I mean, of this this is first. this is literally nothing new. This is this is Commander Clash of the season where I mention normally I mention one card or a little hint. It's like kill him, kill him. But this time I've been very. very I mean, honest. it is sad. I'm gonna see <laughs> how hard you can spin this into. I'm not the bad guy, Vince. This week, well, I'm just gonna okay, sit just... back and relax. Oh, that's a strip mine. Oh, Ooh. Dear. yeah, there it no, goes. No, Vince. There it goes. <laughs> I was going to okay. play the two drops. Well, okay. I, I, I could leave off them, but I've got to start playing something, right? Well, now suddenly my one drop Merfolk become horrendously <laughs> bad. I think that's actually good for me since I everything wow. I have makes mana. <laughs> All right. This only feels Draw a card. <laughs> this stack fuels the elf deck. We are teaming up this week. What, what, what's no, the team? No, no, it's a joke because obviously Toma <laughs> being so like belligerent and unabashedly, unapologetically violent towards this poor British man, just over here, <laughs> over keep, here playing his Trinispheres. Keep spinning it, Vince. We all know oh. the real reason for this. You just don't like tea or crumpets. <laughs> I love tea and crumpets. Oh, <laughs> wait, what is this? Oh, huh. Each spell, right? Okay. Ooh. Although I, I'm not actually too familiar with like the the best British we'll teas, I'm off. a big fan of matcha tea. But that's I don't know what that Japanese. is. It's like it's like uh, a special type of green tea. They mill it, and I made. I'm sure you know British tea. Earl, Earl Grey. Grey, yeah, it's okay. black. <laughs> it's just like the Wait, normal teas. <laughs> we don't have names are, are for them. British, right? Do British add milk or is that like a big faux pas? No, no, milk's the standard. Milk's the standard. Yeah. All right, I like that. Milk and Milk and I'm sugar, a big dairy right? guy. Like, no one looks down on you for having black tea, but but milk tea with milk is just normal. And some sugar or no? Is that actually in the next couple of weeks? I am gonna. I'm not gonna do the debt tax. I think <laughs> you're the only one open. <laughs> I need to draw cards. I think. I think the moment you drop down Trinisphere is the moment people would have started attacking you. So you probably would have gone. I, mean, like I don't an care extra too much, but I'm gonna. Draw I mean, cards. you've got an Edric in play. Surely Edric's more obnoxious than Trinisphere. Just saying. Everybody has an Edric. <laughs> The beauty of nope, Edric is nope, he just draws you. everyone's cards. I, I, I'm not drawing <laughs> cards on Richard's behalf. He's drawing cards. It's not like a curse of verbosity. verbosity. You, can't, you, can't, you can't play Edric and take the high ground. It's just not okay. We're literally all playing Edric. <laughs> <laughs> we're <laughs> playing the real Edric, though. We're playing the imposters. Yeah, we're all like, we'll, we'll play other archetypes. Because that was the idea, wasn't it? When we first discussed the whole same commander thing was to do different archetypes. What? We um, kind of so we, we did. We did. Actually, that was a conversation we had was we should all play different archetypes. Did did is that what we we panned for for the Edric week? Because I did not no, no, see no, any no, of that. No, that. no, that that wasn't for this. We hadn't discussed that for this week. That that was like weeks ago. Because I remember I was comparing it to the Attractor Bowl that a load of um, magic YouTubers got involved with. We all could have just played like bog standard Edric. We could have done, but where's the fun in that, Toma? Tons where's of fun. fun I'm that? having I'm <laughs> having tons of fun. <laughs> Toma, how about you don't attack me for a turn and I won't trick mine you. I'm waiting for the crucible. <laughs> Strip mine crucible. <laughs> it's a it's a fair point, Tomer, isn't it? Tomer's going silent Jake style. He's so he's so angry already. <laughs> Richard is wide open and he, he's building a Merfolk army. I'm I'm just saying. It's an extra turn spell already. No. Oh my god. Oh, oh you can, my god. You need even more cards, oh. do you, Tomer? I do. This is the problem with stacks. You can't get ahead of this Edric deck. I, I, I'm exactly. curious how Vince catches exactly. back up. Strip mind me, please. I, I don't catch back up. I don't catch back up. Uh, if there That's were only the sweepers, there's not too many yeah, sweepers, really. We don't have too many sweepers. Don't forget, I'm trying to stop this, but my one stacks piece of turn's not going to do much. <laughs> the problem is Tomer has the Edric, so if we want cards, we can't attack him. You can also cast Edric of your own. 
You have oh, the mana. That gives you even more Edric triggers. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is the problem. That, this is we the can problem. All draw cards. This is the problem. Like, he played a, a deck to take advantage of Edric, so we can't. <laughs> we can't I mean, you, you can't those. pretend your one ones with evasion and stuff don't take advantage of Edric. It's is, literally no, no. But this is, is literally my Edric suited. deck. Hey, don't play it for a meta. This is just how Edric. <laughs> this is like if you look up like Edric online, you'll find this list. It's not a meta choice. It's just Edric. This is how Edric builds. I re- sure. I remember well, if you look Edric stacks. This will be the deck of the <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm uh, starting to remember why we banned you from playing Edric. You've already drawn like t- ten more cards than everyone else. It's okay, he's discarding. It doesn't really count. <laughs> he didn't draw that many cards. He can he's only dr- play one spell a turn, though. He's drawing a lot of cards. You need to kill him. This is true. If only I could deploy my cards <laughs> to actually mount an offense. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can, you can easily smash into him here. Just play your commando Wait, and hit him. Do, if I tap Trinisphere, does it stop it? Does, uh, is that still a thing? Or yeah, no? as long yeah. as it's untapped, yeah. it is. Wait, are you playing like? How are you? How are you going to oh, tap it Trinisphere? It does say untapped. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah so what, you, t- do you have twiddle? twiddles? Yeah. Are you twiddling <laughs> in your Merfolk deck? <laughs> Richard, please don't twiddle my sphere. Please. Thank you. Crazy. Mera Vigiri, I assume, right? But then you'll unlock Toma as well. Just going to play this. Hints at a wider theme. So it's an a artifact stack stack. Play a crawl space. Oh. Okay, that, oh. that that slows things down. Attacks me. You that just makes people. people attack other yeah. people, yeah. Yep. That's but that that would be nice if everyone didn't attack me mercilessly every week. Oh, when you don't, Seth, because you never attack. So there is that. <laughs> yeah, I have. Uh, <laughs> poor Seth Vince, plays the zero victim two. of his anti edric stacks deck, must be. Well, what was the what, pretty what tough. was the reason last week, Tomo, or the week before? I didn't attack you the week. Or the week before that. When? So, or the week before that. So or the week before last that week one, was Dungeons and Dragons. I didn't <laughs> attack you. Past Mono Red first, Week. You I didn't attack you. <laughs> that was Tom. Oh, you didn't need to attack me because I was mercilessly, mercilessly attacked over and over by a land destruction spell. <laughs> Leave me alone, Toma. <laughs> Says the Go person who was running stuff. Godo plus Helm combo last week. In what? what? In and Kiki in Jiki in plus Zealous Conscripts. The same stuff that yeah. I get hated on. No, I played it in Mono Red Week. You played it on Coin Flip Week. Don't take it personally. All right, all right, Vince. I will. I will just stay quiet this week. No, and you can say what you <laughs> That's want. Not what I'm asking. You can That's say not what I'm all asking. you want about how poor Vince. Oh, well, I targeted. am on thirty-one. Oh. I am on thirty-one, and there's that special ruling commander where you should only attack the person with the highest life total. Mm. Oh boy, more Edrix. <laughs> oh, Vince. What? But I can't cast all my crappy one drops because of your Trinisphere. <laughs> You're doing one I am so upset. My curve is like totally useless. Uh, oh, Edric's not even a Merfolk. I didn't get a counter. I'm so sad. You should play adapt- oh. Adaptive Take Mutation. Two. Mm-hmm. Why is this going? Draw two cards. Here's the thing. Even if I hit Vince, I draw four cards and discard everything, so it didn't matter. But then you draw four <laughs> cards. It's so beautiful. I, I currently cannot deploy anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I love drawing cards so much. We drop that. Whenever you cast a... Oh, I should probably highlight this for the peoples. Whenever you cast yes. a merfolk spell, yeah. create a 1-1 blue... One, 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 blue. unblockable. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, blue merfolk Just creature discarded. token with Hexproof. Neat. And whenever another merfolk enters the battlefield under control, plus, put plus one plus one counter on target merfolk you control. <sighs> Alright. Let's just keep oh, playing Edrix. Rex Age? <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh my god. <laughs> We just gotta give all deck ourselves. Yay! <laughs> Need to draw cards too. I guess if there was ever so, a week to mold, if Tomer to hits five, Vince, he draws twelve cards. Yes. <laughs> no, I can't. But I, mean, I can only hit there with was, two creatures. That, oh, that is true. There, there was no need to incentivize him though. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, he can hit anyone though, right? Because he has all his things have evasion. I mean, my my Edric does not have evasion. Oh, uh, right. Are you gonna block if I attack you, Vince? One hundred percent. Oh, I, you just I, give me the most Tomer. cards. Attack Tomer and draw two cards. Oh, but three is more than right. Two. Right, <laughs> right. You can draw three cards. <laughs> but then he blocks and I draw zero dying. cards. So. Tomer's about to take extra turns and kill us all. Am I? <laughs> no, don't don't do that. That's exactly. he's accusing other people of deflecting. Don't deflect for him. Let him deflect for himself. <laughs> We can't even play counter spells. That's not my tactic, Vince. 
It's not a tactic, it's just a kind request that I don't get beaten on every week. <laughs> Guys, I'm just going to make it so it's impossible for you to attack me, but don't attack me right now, I don't have it set up. I don't Gosh. know if you've tried to play stacks in green, blue, Toma, but I can't exactly <laughs> stop all combat. I've got to play crawl spaces and ensnaring bridge on e Edric week when and I'm going to draw cards. And then propaganda like it's... comes out. And the port oh, port oh yeah, propaganda's out. great. Propaganda's great. Port cards doesn't matter get... if you've got five oh, creatures in play already. Gordon Bennett. Gordon Bennett. <laughs> what, what does that even mean? Is Gordon yeah, Bennett. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a polite exclamation of exasperation. It references like an old... Um, uh, journalist, I think it's a, uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a it's a weird British kind of phrase, or maybe European, I don't know. So instead of call blimey or Jesus Christ or oh uh, Gordon, Gordon Bennett? Bennett, yeah, Gordon Bennett, that's my that's my new go-to. Gordon Bennett, you gotta say it with a Cockney draw, otherwise it doesn't really work. I understood zero words that came out. <laughs> what is this? Do, do you know what Cockney is, Richard? No, like, no, I know. What does that actually mean? Cockney is the dialect for, or the the like, um, the accent of London or or, uh, or, or working class London. Okay. Oh, right, my love. Oh, right, my love. I can't do it. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, governor. You know, like um, Mary Poppins. Yeah. And okay. Okay. <laughs> he is. He is. He is a bad Cockney accent in that movie. See, learning. I'm here Learned playing so through much. the spheres, teaching. Uh, so, I, take I think, turn. I feel like to you should strip mine Tomer right now, I think. Yeah, Tomer's going to take an I think turn. Tomer just wins if he untaps with five. Oh, mana. no, I can't. Never mind. You better strip mine him anyway. Yeah, just, just <laughs> Go send for a it. message. <laughs> I, I, feel, well, I feel he's going to win right now. No, I won't do it. Cause I, can't, I can't have him hate on me for two more weeks of Commander Clash. At some point... He's got to be nice to me. So if I strip mine now, I won't hear the end of it for like two weeks. Oh, no. I mean, I'm still attacking <laughs> so, you for two, uh, Vince. These like... strip mine threats yeah. are empty. That's why he doesn't respect me. Of course them. I am. <laughs> you were going to attack me regardless of whether I strip mine you or didn't strip mine you. Exactly. I'm not trying to stop you. <laughs> I'm just asking that in general, you leave me alone. Oh, so many cards. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because he draws 12 cards. You yeah. can just chain extra spells now. Wait, what? No, well, I can't. Why can Why you not? not? I'm a little bit limited on mana. I mean, maybe if I draw into them. I mean, you, just I mean, you draw, draw like uh, a huge yeah, percentage of your deck. And then you make a land drop, and then you're good. Hopefully. I, mean, I just made a land drop, though. You could whiff. There's could not whiff. that many five mana extra turn spells, I guess. I'm running two of them. Because there's like Capture of Jing Zhao is like $450. So I'm not running that. I'm running Temporal Manipulation, Time Warp, and I. I think those are the five mana ones. Temporal manipulation, time warp, yeah. The other ones are more expensive. Unless I got um, temporal trespass. You have a decent amount of the cards in your graveyard, so I guess that would work. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so jealous. Right? One, two, three, four, you five. You could have played this too. Uh, I, I kind of am. <laughs> but who plays Zephyr Spirit? I just couldn't bring myself to. The what? Look it's so a bad. one one flyer. Yeah, oh, it I also know. it also has a little bit of fairy synergy because I'm running spell stutter sprite, <laughs> which is like okay. proper all star. So you might be able to counter a two drop if you also have your separate yeah. sprite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did he kill my Edric? Oh, yeah, he blocked. Okay, with a two two blocker. That's fine. Does Tomer hit the extra turn spell? Uh, does Tomer have enough mana to cast extra turn spells? <clears throat> Well, it has to be a five drop. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, five's pretty much the magic number for this. Sort of I only thing. have two of them in the deck, so unlikely. Um, uh, did not. Did I just recast Edric? Uh, I yes. So. I I am okay with more Edrics at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, that was a disappointing whiff. Well, I guess not a disappointing whiff. There's only two that I could have hit, but would have been nice. The next turn. As always, next turn, yes. It's coming. It's coming. I, I do have extra turns in the deck. <laughs> I have quite a few. Ooh, look um, at that. Look at all your incidental, horrible 1 1 value. You're like. Why do you, you think they're horrible? Zephyr, <laughs> Zephyr Spirit to pump your spell stutter sprout. You're scrying with Artificer's Assistant. So much. So much why, synergy. Why do you think it's bad? <laughs> <laughs> We're playing commander and you're playing one ones for one. That just you've, seems anti commander to me. You've That's the whole seen point of Edric. <laughs> it's so uh, good. 
Not in a long time, because we, <laughs> we banned you from playing it. <laughs> Seth comes to D&D week, not knowing anything about D&D. Comes to Edric week, not knowing anything about Edric. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Uh, I know. That's not a value judgment. That's not a value judgment. It's just an observation. Uh, yes, I know. I mean, I I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't want to play one ones for one either. But... One ones for one. Yeah, you went. You went the right so way to it with your. Tr- tr- you mean one spheres. ones for three? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'd rather play uh, two ones for two that stop everyone else from like playing spells, drawing cards, or attacking. I have to discard so many cards though. I'm so salty Tomer gets to go before Vince. <laughs> <laughs> he always gets to avoid one stack piece. <laughs> well, I know I have to cut. Ca- I'm forced to cast Edric here because otherwise I just get attacked by everyone, don't I? Uh, yeah, unless you have a stack piece, anymore. you might have to. Should I mean, I, I guess you get to draw a lot of cards. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. He gets to refill his hand. And then he's going to try to drop in a snaring bridge. <laughs> With like 15 yeah. cards in hand. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, Everkill can't get through. <laughs> Uh, what if we just deck Tomer? Is this possible? I'm fine with that. Please. <laughs> I, I thought about that too, but I thought Please. it was too difficult. <laughs> oh, the, uh, someone I should play blue-green blue, Edric Mill. <laughs> that, I tried that. I looked at that. Uh, it's pretty hard. Uh, okay. The problem is the other person is winning so much if they're drawing that many cards. that You really don't want them to do that. Man, this is... I don't know what to discard. Uh, A 1-1 one, one for 1? Man, yeah, we'll get rid of this. No, the uh, one ones are precious. Come on, <laughs> Seth. You know this. Uh, you discarded a ca- counter spell. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, boy. I don't know. What All was the, right thing there. the Edrix. I probably should have discarded the last land in my hand, but I really wanted to have a land. And if like there's a board wipe, then I wouldn't get to draw cards. And that would make me sad. I think getting around the uh. Trinity Sphere is important to get. Just like. Getting the six land is really important. After that, it, there's less value. But being able to cast two, three drops in a turn is good. Well, I'm going to attack the the souped up Egypt player, who has also been attacking me. That's that is my logic. Mm-hmm. Everyone draws all the cards. Isn't it beautiful? Except this means Vince is going to draw so many stacks pieces. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I can cast them, though, is it? I uh, should also true. mention I wasn't the one who mentioned Edric Bowl. It was actually Vince. He said, hey, do you guys yeah. want to do Edric Week? Oh, uh, it was beautiful. I, oh, okay. And I thank good. you for I thought, it. I thought I, I thought I had to apologize for this. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure what was going on. I'm like, <laughs> better I'm apologize so, just in case. You should. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want your Canadian citizenship, you better get very quick to apologizing. I can't come to Canada. You just, out of nowhere, you're attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> Jump out of a bush and start beating on me. Like, Tomer, stop! It's not even a game. Tomer, leave me <laughs> I can just see that. <laughs> Vince is on the plane as soon as he crosses international water. The flight attendant comes up. It's Tober. <laughs> Cast Trinisphere on Edric Week. I'll show you. I've got to discard cards now, but also good. But my cards aren't one ones for one. Well, that was your mis- that the- was your first mistake. Yeah. I mean, they're not yeah. as good when Trinisphere is on well, the battlefield. Playing a seven drop. So. So there's that. My theme. It's on the table. Your battle sphere. Okay. Token makers, artifacts. Or you're just gonna go uh survival, yep. I'm I'm playing like every piece of affinity that I can play in these colours. <laughs> I'm playing Art Baron Ravages. So like go wide <laughs> artifact Edric? It could work. Yeah, I've i I've got I've got everything. I've got mere tap for mana. I'm assuming there's played... a combo in there, because it wouldn't be a Vince deck without nope. a combo. I mean walking ballista with with Pia, <laughs> does that count? An Art Baron Ravager? How's that work? I've played I've played so many weeks without combo. Like I won with combo once and Ooh. Uh, <laughs> three mana, mana curse catcher. <laughs> so sad. I mean this is a two two. Like a three mana two two curse catcher is worth it, right? Uh. And it comes with a one one. That's basically the correct one. rate. <laughs> yeah, it's not not that bad. I'm making your cards fair. Oh hang on, no, it comes with a two two. Yeah. That that was a good use of three mana in my humble opinion. <laughs> I mean, it only required three mana set up on the turn before, <laughs> and two mana set up on the turn before that. On the upside, Curse Catcher might stop Tomo from going infinite of turns. That's why it's here. Or randomly combo killing us, because it's a Tomo deck, and it wouldn't be complete without a combo. Uh, I don't think I have any combos in the deck. And it's not because... I I know, I'm just repeating what you said directed at me. <laughs> but you do usually <laughs> run combo decks, Vince. That's kind of your MO. Even if you don't get the combo off. 
What was Carador a combo deck? Wasn't it? No, neither was neither was Norin or Edgar. I don't. Oh. What Norin? Mm, go to <laughs> Helm the host combo Norin. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Yes, I did play the combo. And the Kiki Jiki is all his cards from Norin. Okay, I'm going to put this out on the table now. So I emailed you all <laughs> the week before saying, are you all playing this? Because if you are, I will. If you're not, I won't. And you're like, yeah, we'll all play it. So What? We said on. we weren't running it. Remember? Uh, I think I yeah. said I probably wasn't going to run it, but I thought it was fine to run. And I said the exact same thing, that I wasn't running it. Okay, maybe I misremember. <laughs> and I'm just the, wait, didn't you, I'm wait, the didn't you combo us off with Jodo not long ago, Tomer? Yeah. Okay. This is the... Uh, this is the Oh dear. Okay. That's a, a lot of cards. That is. Uh, you already have seven. You're. That's just a lot of looting. What do you mean you only had already have seven, Seb? Would you no. be satisfied with seven cards in your hand? Oh, but I mean, it's just not as good if you got to discard that would them be all. So good without Trinisphere on the table, right? I'd be like dumping Merfolk left and right and doing crazy things, but. Oh yeah, same dudes. Same dudes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I somehow drew like no lands in here? How is this possible? Where's my reliquary tower? What's wrong with this deck? <laughs> <laughs> well generally there's not All right. four Adrix on the battlefield. Eventually Nick Thos will be good. I oh, mean Adrix. you have a lot of mana on the battlefield and you have a fauna shaman to tutor up any creature you want, so Yeah. I'm sure you're I gonna have be... a good turn right now. I should be able to do something halfway sweet, I think. Although Trinisphere, if it wasn't for Trinisphere, I think I could do some. I guess everyone's saying that, so. <laughs> if it wasn't for Trinisphere, we'd be doing sweet things. Oh, darn. Are you gonna, do you win next turn, Tomer? No. He's pretty close. Should we strip mine, <laughs> curse catcher him? It's... Yes. He probably should. Six, I mean, I think to six close. and seven mana, there's a lot more I, cheap extra I, turn spells. I think in a vacuum, my Edric deck would be heavily favored but in this specific week with this meta i don't all you need to do is draw an extra turn spell and cast it you win cast it not (laughs) have it countered not have it stopped by curse catcher there's a trinisphere on the table this is one of the reasons i didn't like stacks because i had defense grid and everything ready to go but i'm like it just stops everyone's (laughs) policing of like so so my build got pulled back and forth because i had void slam and disallow in the deck at first but then i also had like um uh like defense grid style effects and then i was like well i had to cut one or the other and I ended up cutting both. I'm playing no counter magic whatsoever. My, my plan was to... Well, my plan was to... I know it sounds like a crazy thing, but play permanents that slow people down. I mean, we keep saying, like... It, it is affecting people, and that's, that's what they're meant to do, right? It's, like, stop people from going off and killing me because I'm trying to play something slightly different, but perhaps I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have just played only counter magic instead, and then maybe I wouldn't have... I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. Or just play a deck that doesn't immediately draw hate the moment you announce what it is. I mean that. that there's only two decks. That. I think that should have happened. With. Yeah, but to be just honest, don't so, announce your deck. Just say I know I'm exactly, exactly. Because <laughs> I I've played anything from like from aggro to to mid range like graveyard based decks to combo, and all of them are drawn hate, especially from you. So there's not really anything I can do about especially that. Especially for there's me. literally. Yeah, I mean, I disagree with all your assessments, so you could keep saying that it's like, oh, I play whatever, and Tomer well, just keeps keep attacking me the... indiscriminately, but I, I, mean, I disagree. I mean, I think we should probably, I think we should probably, like, calm it down, because we're obviously both getting very salty here, but yep. you keep telling the table how I'm comboing off all the time, and that's complete nonsense. <laughs> it's literally nonsense. So, uh, I don't know what else I could say, other than say it's literally nonsense. I'm, so you're decks the game, you just usually have combos in What's them. Yeah, you don't successfully combo right. off, that's I'm true. Gonna, again, that was nonsense, Toma. All right. Wait, 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 this is a combo piece. <laughs> sort of. It's very good with just a lot of extra mana. But he could combo with it, yeah. And then, let's see, so we tap this. Uh-oh. We tap <laughs> this. We pick up this. Is this your main phase? It is, right? It is, yeah. Oh my god. Crater of... Oh no. I tomered. I mean, I punted. (laughs) Wait, there's a strip line that's going off. (laughs) Uh, I think I just untapped my devoted druid that I also bounced. It was supposed to be Marwin. Oh no. Uh, Yeah, you did. (laughs) Yeah. All right, so new plan. I didn't want to do this, Tomer, but since I did that, so... Uh, Fraileys? What are you going to do with Fraileys? Destroy Trinisphere. Uh, I'm not going to destroy Trinisphere at the moment. Maybe next turn. 
I think I'm thinking of destroying coastal piracy. Actually, does it matter? Does, that's a good <laughs> between drawing twelve and like sixteen cards or something. Choice, but I guess you I could go for it if you want. Uh, I'm worried about. Well, I'm worried about your extra. I'm worried about spells. unlocking Tomer. That's what I'm worried about. Tritosphere. Maybe I should be killing deeper waters. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right. Wait, doesn't it have hexproof? No, right. Your L, no, no. your merfolk does, my, but my it merfolk doesn't. Yeah. Proof. All right, we'll just make we'll make a land of war. Oh, that turn would have been sweeter if I untap my Marwin, but. Uh, all right. Do you want to trade Edric Stomer? Do you let me draw cards, <laughs> <laughs> or do you g I, give up the chance to draw cards? My life total is getting kind of low. It's only. Thing, it's only but, two. Oh, wow, it's only two. All right. I just want to draw some cards. Ooh. You did choose right. a person with the lowest life total for that, though. <laughs> uh, Vince would block, and Richard has creatures he would block with, I think. You're the least likely to block out of the bunch. That's fair. You know how much I like card draw. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a card that I kept and I didn't discard, but in hindsight, there's no way I can play it because it would just give Seth the game. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Like this is just like my personal. <laughs> What's a card that would give Seth the game? Uh, it's a it's a it's an elf lord, but it's an old elf lord that um oh. helps for all elves. <laughs> all elves. Yeah. I wanted to play Coat of Arms this week, but I'm like I'm pretty sure that's just gonna <laughs> that's just gonna kill me instantly with all the elves and druids and things. Two. It's something. I... Oh, <laughs> so many cards. so many cards. It's four. I wish I was playing white or black so I could stop it. Yeah, not many... Uh, do you have any ways of dealing with creatures? I, I was looking for bits... Um, I don't know, to deal with card draw. Like, I don't have Chains of Mephistopheles or oh, anything like that. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of Ooh. creature like evacuations one. There's an Undaunted one. Coastal Breach. There's, there's a whole bunch. Like mass yeah, bounce. so there are ways to bounce creatures. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. I mean, um, I haven't, I'm not really playing those, so I'm trying to... I don't know, like, um, I can play those sort of effects, but I'm also trying to deploy creatures to draw cards with as well. Like, it'll get to the point that if I'm trying to deal with creatures too much, I guess I will end up not drawing any cards where everyone else is, if that makes sense. Land. Because I guess what you'll remember is that with Stax decks, they, they vary in power level. Like, not Edric Stax is not going to be Thali or Elish Norn or Gadok Teague Stax, right. if that makes sense. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of a weird a weird mixture. Because Edric doesn't... When you read Edric, you don't think, oh, that'd probably be a great Stax commander. <gasps> Is he passing with five mana up? Yeah, that's oh. a little I mean, suspicious. I mean, I'm at 23 health. I need to have some, some sort of defense. And if I just tap out with an Edric on the battlefield and one once, I don't know if that's going to be enough to uh, live. Hey, that's that's my card. Merfolk. I know. <laughs> oh, man, I have to get rid of a lot of cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to get rid of the, the Elf Lord. Yeah, I'm not playing that. Aww. <laughs> Eladomri. Because <laughs> all all elves have oh, forest walk, all elves have walk. shroud. Yeah, oh boy, that would not have been that would not have been tasty. So is Edric the only commander where you like flying men is legitimately a good card? I think so. <laughs> Pretty much, it's such a unique commander. Yeah, it is also like a very budget friendly commander too because all these cards are essentially draft chaff, but they're so good in Edric. So you can make. A very powerful, very annoying Edric for a very low budget. Ooh, Sylvan Scrying. one of the most powerful at like a twenty, oh, thirty dollar budget. Oh, <laughs> that Sylvan Scrying is going to be a tabernacle. Uh, yeah, most <laughs> likely. I don't, I don't have twenty mana each turn to pay for all my creatures. Yes, and no one else has a strip mine. I'm assuming you're you're strip. packing a lot of strip mine effects, though, right? That's the that's the standard for this. I, I do is. have a strip mine somewhere ah, okay. somewhere in my yeah. deck. But this was the one week where I actually had to think about colorless lands <laughs> because all of my creatures are like one drop blue, so each colorless land actually hurts. Can I shuffle his library? <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can shuffle my own library because I don't know if getting Sylvan Scrying is actually even going to be that good. I, I think you me. want to shuffle your library so yeah. you, don't, you don't have to make me think about trying to kill you before well, Tabernacle. Well, it doesn't do enough to Seth because Seth can make so much mana. Or, uh, so I feel like. What if we're just I friends? Feel like Exactly, but what I'm saying is, I think Tabernacle pushes you like ahead, uh -oh, while putting sense. everyone else, including myself, behind. That's that's probably true, because I can pay for my so, creatures pretty easily, I guess. 
Exactly. So like Tabernacle is only good if I'm ahead of everyone, which I'm definitely not. Yeah, that, that definitely gives Seth a good a good nudge forward. I guess I could just attack and draw some cards. Might as well, right? It is Edric mm-hmm. week. And it is drawing six cards, so it's it's hard to say no. <laughs> What's the point of Edric week? It's fast and aggro. E- well, I thought we were just going to draw cards and I was going to slow down the aggro part. But. Edric week seems like a good planeswalker week. Because who's actually going to be like, no, I I would rather hit your Fraley's oh, than draw three yeah. cards. <laughs> yeah, I think that Fraley's is going to stick around for a while. What's her ultimate? I actually uh, don't know. Oh, draw a card for each. That's not cards. even actually a very scary ultimate this week. It's like, no. oh. Yeah, okay. It doesn't do oh, much. Here. There's a tabernacle. You don't even need to use Sylvan <laughs> Library for it. <laughs> Oh god, oh. I'm gonna die to the hate now. It's a shame they can't oh, use boy. that artwork. It's a very beautiful oh, art. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. in life. It's I'm... a low but it's tabernacle. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Uh, I want to play this Golden Swine. Strip not... mine tabernacle, GG. <laughs> 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 uh, right, anyway, I'm my own, I can't cast another spell because I can't make another land drop because I'm an idiot. So let's go to discard. How much mana does Seth have? So he has a bunch. Uh, yeah, I have a lot. Plus, he, he was about to win last turn, right? <laughs> uh, I wasn't yeah. about to win, it, it's but the, I would have played more than one spell <laughs> if I had done that properly. Yeah. <laughs> what did you tutor for the Fauna Shima? Was that the Wirewood symbiote? Yeah, I got the Wirewood right. symbiote. So he's going to... I'm assuming you have another creature in hand, or you will if you attack with Yudric, so it's like tutor up whatever creature you want. And you have the infinite mana to... Well, not infinite, but you have a um, lot of mana to I mean, in, in spite of me playing bad stacks, look at everyone's board state as well. Like, there's just yeah. so much stuff in play. That is true. Even through the stacks pieces. Indeed. But I've only played two stacks pieces. The other ones... That's the other thing as well. Like, it's not like green-blue tutors for artifacts. Oh, this blue does. So I'm not, I'm not fabricating here, and, for example. And I guess, like, crawl space is kind of medium stacks piece it's not one of the more brutal ones like i guess it keeps your no. life total up a little bit but it doesn't keep people from drawing cards really yeah it encourages people to draw elsewhere that isn't my face well at least only two of the cards are my face what oh no chinosphere oh lord oh and i have an island that's not ideal i discarded my island I was like, I am Smart. not Vince is safe. playing that. Oh, Richard, you're going to draw so many cards. How much mana does Nick those? One, two, three, four, so five? I guess that's not that much. Six, six. Get oh, back. six, yeah. It's, uh, that's like two one drops safe. with the Trinosphere out. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess because everyone's playing one drops, that's why. <laughs> Like, on a normal week, I wouldn't even play Trinisphere, but I was like, well... Yeah, it's, it's a good... It's very good, good, good on a week decks. that everybody's playing 1-1s one for 1s, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have metagamed. Maybe I should have played combos. Can't win. Uh, I, I would have been fine uh, with a combo deck. <laughs> Tell me just wants to draw cards. There. Whatever lets him draw cards, easiest. <laughs> it's, it's very much true. You've drawn, like, almost half your deck. I need to draw more cards, Vince. <laughs> Hey, Richard, I don't have any islands, so... <laughs> Smash Tomer in. Go and have him. I think if Seth's about... Well, I don't know. If Tomer's got an extra turn spell, he's a pain. If But Seth seemed like he was about to kill everyone last turn as well, so... Yeah, this is the problem. And Seth's not even denying it. He's just <laughs> laughing. You're killing <laughs> Fraley's, really? Oh, no. I'll kill. A, I'll blow up the turn sphere if you uh, leave Fraley's alone. <laughs> oh, look, Love I like politics. That. I love politics. <sighs> I love it. Don't you want to Who cast all your merfolk? Kill. Oh. No, I can't kill. Uh, Who do I attack? Oh, uh, uh, Tomer. Not my Fraley. Any- you can attack <laughs> me as long as it's not my Fraley's. You know, I like that. Ah, oh. But Trinisphere. Uh, wait, who has Edrix? Everyone has Edrix. Okay, so we all have Edrix. Welcome to Edrix week. I don't know what's going on. I'll do this. Hopefully Tomer doesn't etherize. <laughs> that would be so good. I mean, he could, but then he's going to die to everyone else. I'm just hitting him with one Edric. Trade Edric to one. <laughs> Do it. Ether oh, Eyes. I don't have Ether Eyes. Aw, evacuate. I might have something similar to Ether Eyes. 
Vacuuming? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I have nothing. Maybe it's all above. Hmm. Who knows? Yeah, this is why I, 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 this is why I don't want it to act over. I don't want him to bounce everything. <laughs> but if he bounces everything, we're all gonna die. I think. Well, well me and him, we're gonna die. Well, I guess Toma's got the least impressive clock on the board, hasn't he? As well. So I guess him evacuating isn't so bad. If Seth evacuated here, yeah. If I, if I had I evacuate, evacuate, I would definitely evacuate at this point. Yes, it does seem pretty optimal. <laughs> <laughs> My God. See, Richard. I drew nothing good. But yeah, Richard, why? How, good that, why? how did, could that, did that feel to draw that many cards? Not that good, actually. Really? <laughs> Seth, I don't understand these people. Yeah, there's nothing better than, than drawing tons of cards. Even if they're bad cards, it's still It's like awesome. we don't even speak the same language. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you people? <laughs> how, do, how do I stop everyone from winning next to uh, like... It could be that no one wins. You've drawn a third maybe. of your deck. Isn't that considered winning? I don't... All right, I'm going to play this, which is not a Reliquary Tower. I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> I should have ran a Reliquary Tower this week. I don't I do not do it for my, my Edric deck, but if I were playing Edric, that would have been a smart meta call. Again, I had to be careful for my colorless lands because I, I want to play on, like enough man lands and um, stuff like Academy Ruins because my artifact theme. So I end up not playing Ancient Tomb and, and Reliquary Tower and stuff, I think. Uh, Tomer's also holding up counter magic. I mean, nah, I could be holding up anything. I could be holding up all basics. Just seven <laughs> islands. It's probably counter magic. Do you not think he would have countered my Oracle Maldai out of spite? <laughs> no, it's not really relevant. Oh, that cuts deep. <laughs> no, it's just more that I'm waiting for the other more hardcore stacks pieces to uh, come out. Why would I stop the Oracle? That's worse than your conspiracy that my secret combo player. That you're a stacks player? Oh, that's true. Like, I can't deny that. Look at my board state. So, uh, all right. What are you holding, Tomer? Two, four, six, eight. I'm a blue nine. player. I, I have things. <laughs> hmm. Mena's speaker. Three, one, one for three men. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> oh, but it becomes a two, two for three. Uh, all right. What Try are we doing? That it. Oh, nice. That it does good. Trigon's oh. good. Trigon would be good. I kind of want to draw Trigon too, Richard. But you kept it up. You kept your mana up. Because I, I, I need to not die. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> I want to tap out with a board of useless Merfolk. How can we draw the most cards? Oh my god! Tomer's gonna Tomer's any, gonna wait until I anyone. go to attack and then <laughs> bounce the board. I, he lets Richard draw, but he's gonna. I know it. I know that's what's happening. Well, attack me full out and see what happens. <laughs> I'm not going to attack you. <laughs> I don't want my board bounced. I'm going to Fauna Shaman. Uh, discard. Crater Hoof. Immaculate Magistrate. It's a fair survival, which which is kind of like how how ridiculous survival of the fittest is. Yeah, survival is so insane. Absolutely nuts. Doesn't require don't haste. why it's not banned. <laughs> doesn't, isn't, isn't, uh, t doesn't require tapping. I, uh, that would be like a top, top choice. But then people would complain on, on like the EDH forms, like, oh, green is always targeted. All right. Oh, let's. Uh, oh, okay. Let's, that is. Let's ramp this up a bit. Uh, what, did, what did he do? Oh, oh, oh that's the oh card. No, oh, <laughs> that's a card. To well, you wanted to play this card, Tomer. You wanted it too. So I I'm don't hoping, have a catter in my hand. So I'm hoping you. Good too. luck. Have fun. I just want to draw cards. That's I, all. Well, you don't have. No counter magic at all. If if I had a if I had a counter spell in my hand, I would counter the spell. <laughs> Someone triple strip mine me. <laughs> get, get rid of my forests. <laughs> uh, Actually, it doesn't matter. His elves are pretty small right now. He needs he needs to. It's more like if you had any target removal, that's gone now. And also, that, his, his all his creatures have forest walk. Yeah, I just I it helps me draw cards. Beast Within was my final cut. I was like, well, I'll interact with my three mana artifacts. I don't need I don't need removal spells. Alright, so let's see. Richard's at the highest life total. I have six mana open, Seth. <sighs> How do you have six mana oh, Nick this. Nice. Ah, uh, that's nonsense. Eh. He ain't got nothing. Nice. What kind of what kind of uh, what kind of Murpho can you flash <laughs> in and get you in? Especially since they have four. Harbinger of tides. <laughs> Harbinger of tides. I'll bounce your Edric and remove your card draw. <laughs> just everyone take a little bit so I can draw cards. 
right. if you echoing truthed all the Edricks now, that would be kind of oh, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, I should have played that card. You can't target them though because Edric is shroud. Yes, everyone. No, they're all shrouded. Everyone has they're shroud. All shrouded. Oh, oh I'm that's all why I didn't you. cast it. Eldar is all elves. Oh no! Yes, it's <laughs> for everyone forever. <laughs> My goodness! All right, so we draw what nine? I I'm okay with this, right? <laughs> Ooh, I do like that one. I have drawn the least cards again. Now this has happened. Oh, so we play enough one mana one ones. Exactly. <laughs> I know. I know. Hmm. Things got a little bit more interesting. I would hope so. With take an extra turn. Take hand. an extra turn. <laughs> One mana. Take an extra turn. <laughs> what? You can untap this Marwyn oh. or whatever. Oh, but usually extra turn spells are double blue. All right, so uh, let's let's see if I can actually do this correctly. Uh, so, no oh boy, Edric mm -hmm. hand not command zone. Yes. What? Uh, rapping? What, what's going on? He's balancing the board. No. Now, what? so now we have to symbiote. Oh, you're returning Edric to your hand? You don't want to draw more cards afterwards? Oh, no. That what doesn't do work. Going on? Oh, because he has Shroud uh, now? No, no, it's return an elf. You don't... Oh, untap target oh. creature. You can yeah. return an elf, but you can't target a creature that's not an elf. Or that's an elf. That is... What were you trying to do, Seth? The non-vote. I think he was trying to get uh, Fauna Shaman? Or oh no, your your ramp, Marwin. I was gonna. You can you can bounce shit out of Damry to then in someone else's turn untap stuff. So you can then you can then fall on a shaman again. But you have to bounce out of Damry first. And you would have to target another person's creature, which I guess is not a big deal right now. Well, you can target his Wyrd hmm. symbiote, or you can target yeah, oh, Wyrd yeah. symbiote. I don't know if this matters in other people's Quite turns. Quite the setup. Oh. <laughs> uh. The Elf Lord was a lot worse than I thought. Well, all right. Let's just uh, rel uh, uh, query tower and pass. No. He's got it all. He's the got it. Never didn't have it. No, I wanted one. I just trying yeah. to dig for mine. Where's your Vesuva, Richard? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I have a Vesuva, too. I have two outs. <laughs> Uh-oh. Tell me really. Oh. Mm -hmm. What did he reclaim? Take an extra turn? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, is he winning now? Wait, that's a sa oh no, he's gonna miracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's the combo player now, baby? It's not a combo. Well, uh, oh come on, it's two, it's two cards combining together. <laughs> that's pretty pretty close to a combo. It's not an infinite combo. <laughs> that does make a change. Can anyone you, stop if this? If you do, you may cast it for its miracle cost. I would like Wait, to. No, does does it get Trinisphered? Yes, yeah. it does. So he has to pay three. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's still pretty good for an extra turn, though. I mean, so he said he only had five extra turn spells, so I'm assuming he has, like, 15 reclaim effects. Let me see how many extra turn spells I have. I said I only had oh, two five two converted five mana cost ones. ones. Temporal okay. manipulation and times war time warp. And I'm looking at my deck right now, and that's still correct. So time stretch. Uh, time uh, stretch costs too much. I'm not running that. That's that's what a coward would say. <laughs> he can't. Vince has a crawl space. Uh, but he can still can he just... Deck himself before <laughs> he can, like, I mean, finish the job? He could also attack someone else with three creatures. Nah. Uh, isn't Edric... Edric is May as well, so he can just choose not to draw. Choose not to draw. That is Yeah, but rich. he's gonna run... He, he only has a finite number of extra turns, right? He Like, if he can't kill everyone fast enough. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Get away from me! Who do I slightly annoy for one damage? I think it's Seth, because he's going to be attacking Tomer. regardless. <laughs> I'm not convinced I get another turn. Do you not have a flyer? But if I get one, I will attack you. Now, elves aren't good at flying for some reason. That's fair. They're like Mr. T. And now, they ain't now Adric has Forest Walk, which is nice. They ain't getting on no plane. Unless it's the plane of Chandelar or Dominaria. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Oh, oh, right. oh dear! Oh dear! Draw cards. Oh, that's so oh many. How many cards do I get to draw? Oh yes! I probably yes. should have killed that coastal piracy. I've always been so confused as to why people play coastal piracy. I mean, this obviously looks great and everything, but is that a bit redundant at this stage? It is because again, this is not. This is just like my personal Edric with some upgrades. It's. This is just my personal Edric with some, with some stack pieces. <laughs> Good. It wasn't a slight to you, Vince. It was just me explaining why I'm running coastal piracy. 
I probably shouldn't be running Crystal Piracy no, but, in all Edric week because then yes, but, it is I, but I saw yeah, I saw Crystal Piracy on um, EDH Rec as a really commonly played Edric Ed- Ed- card, and I was thinking to myself, is that weird? But it's more of a it's, still good. it's more of a um, what's it called? More of a redundant piece because if Edric gets shut down, you still want some redundancy. <laughs> you- you were going to say combo but, piece, weren't you? And then you you changed it at the last minute. <laughs> you got me. Because, <laughs> uh, like, you're, I mean, it's kind of a combo. Like, the way I see Edric is it's kind of a combo where you hope you draw into an extra turn spell to do it again and draw more cards and do an extra turn spell. So it seems like just drawing as many cards as possible so. makes the deck actually work better, even though it might seem kind of unnecessary. So what three mana extra turn spell do you have? You already cast one. This is probably a creature. Oh, of course. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now you get to untap and draw 16-ish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Does you anybody whiff, have a counter spell? If you whiff on drawing 16, no. He, he can't whiff. This I, is I can't it. even cast it because of Trinisphere if it, I did. I'm definitely in a dominating so- position now, yeah. I mean, he's been so angry at me for playing a couple of stacks pieces, and then it still happens anyway. It's just it's just hilarious that I, I tried to slow down Edric, and that got so much hate. Edric, Edric, Edric. He's just gonna Edric. I thought everybody's gonna be playing this list, basically. <laughs> I I think I played a pretty Edricy deck. I mean, it's elves, but it's it's yeah. It's well, we would have been able to keep Tomer in check. If not for Trinisphere. <laughs> that slowed us down enough. I, and he, actually, he, he was the one that got out of the gate first, so he was... It, it well, was he, won the, he won the die roll as well, yeah. and got to cast Edric first, and got to attack first. All of those things are pretty important in this metagame, I think. I'll get rid of this. Actually, none of us... We can all block each other, or we could, but none of us could really block Tomer, because he has all these flying creatures. Um, Let's go attacking, then. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I could also deck myself. Oh no, it's a main effect. Yeah. But, I mean, you should be good. No, you you've won with this not at all a combo combo. Yeah, very much. That's, that's not that's not that's not even a that's not a judgment call either. That's just me pointing it out. Like, I guess, and that's fine. Could, I'm just uh, you could, I'm pointing out the irony. I, the I irony guess you could call it a combo. It's not an infinite loop. There's no like. Ooh, and then I bounce yeah. this back to my hand infinitely with Archaeomancer, and then I blink Archaeomancer to do it again, and then well, I blink I mean, it. I mean, co- basically yeah, combos, don't, ha- <laughs> combos, sure. combos don't have to be infinite. Did, did you choose to not draw cards with Arbor Elf? Oh, that was a misplay. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I'm a little disappointed. I guess I could use it for mana. Yeah, Wait. I was using it for mana. Go on, Richard. Something exciting. Come on, Richard. Does Richard have something? <laughs> oh! That uh, is that's something. He, he he might not have the extra spell to uh, spell into a hand right now. I do though. Uh, yeah, there you go. Well, but he needs so to. Was, Although he, he needs to redeploy with Trin- through Trinisphere. That's right? true. And that's why I didn't attack with Arbor Elf. Next level. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, this does increase the chances of fizzling. What I sure. I put him back to Edric. Come on. Oh, did it go command zone? I, I specifically changed the toggle. It, I think the default it, is it it. that's a lot of mana. It doesn't matter though, right? <laughs> like it just doesn't matter, does it? Because there's three other Edrics in play. Yeah, that's yeah. that is true. And a coastal piracy. Yeah, I don't need Edric anymore. Kind of. I mean, I need a rogue, but a rogue. So, yeah. Rogue. Oh, he's got the prowl. Is that a prowl extra turn spell? Uh, no, that's temporal ooh. manipulation. With the ultimate master's art. Uh huh. Or judge foil. Oh, is that a judge promo to you? I don't know if I've ever yeah, seen so a judge such... temporal manipulation. That's sweet. Yeah, like, people criticized it a little bit for it being a card that no one really Fine. uses. But I guess commander players do. It's just funny, because not all of the Ultimate Masters mag- art that looks new is actually new. It's been floating around for promos for ages. <laughs> mm-hmm. So... So this keeps Tomer from playing another drawing creature. Another, drawing a million things. Yeah. Matt, if you, like, totally didn't play your Elf Lord, you wouldn't... <laughs> Have forest walk. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we could just block. That is true, <laughs> but then my elves could have been blocked. The transfer is really annoying, though. This slows him down a lot. Stacks piece is doing its job, maybe. You know what, actually. <laughs> but like I was saying as well, combos yeah. aren't always infinite. That's a really weird way of looking at combos. Like show and tell and Emrakul isn't an infinite combo, but it's still very much a combo. What about like a fetch land and a shock land? 
Wait, cancel. That, that's <laughs> synergistic, surely. <laughs> like a combo normally needs to be game breaking or game ending. I think is probably yeah. the best way to describe. I, it I think I think synergy. Magic players use combo as like a game ending combo. Sure. I've... Because because a fetch well, land brainstorm is a combo. It just you know it's not immediately game ending. Yeah, so that's like yeah. high synergy. Yeah, and I remember synergy. excavator plus wasteland, like. It's high synergy, but at the point that you lock someone out of the game, then it's kind of like a combo lock, isn't it? Like, I, I think that's the I think that's the differential. It's probably more finite, One, two, three. Um, more intricacies to it than that. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I think I've ran out of steam, to be honest. Um, you don't win. Trinisphere really stops me. Yeah. Ooh. I don't. I don't oh, think wow. I have a win. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, now we turn our attention to Richard with the huge board full of. What I just spent all this mana. time stopping Tomer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> To, to be fair, the moment we attack Richard, Tomo will just take more extra turns. But uh, it's it's really the Trinisphere that's kind of. I don't want to deflect from my combos that I'm assembling over here. Trinisphere <laughs> is kind of like a one card combo. I'm just gonna say yeah. against Eater Attacks, it's a one card combo. <laughs> I don't think though, because that's the lich combos require more than one card. <laughs> I guess I recast. I guess people. <gasps> you can't set... Oh man, it, going back to my command zone really wrecked me. That's a, a lot of mana. I would basically tap out for that. How badly do you want Edric? Well, it's also more incentive for. Well, I guess it's not really incentive anymore for you guys not to attack me. But I mean, I like Edric. He's nice. Are Actually, you... I should attack first. If that's what I'm going to do, I don't need additional mana. Are you tabernacling next turn, Vince? Oh, please. I mean, no. it seems it, it seems like the it seems like the correct. Plan. I am not... so alpha striking you if you tabernacle. I I don't think you get to have any creatures left if I untap and play. Oh, you'll see on my turn. Oh, you're gonna do. Something I thought the else. game was oh. over. Yeah, my my okay. my turn's gonna be quite interesting. If you tabernacle without killing us all, it's like then tabernacle. All going at you. Tabernacle Armageddon. Oh, I thought the game was over. <laughs> Oh. oh, I wish it. How would... oh, hang on, that would be sweet. Uh, Armageddon's not legal <laughs> Wait, you're in uh, green. Or like Sunder, Sunder, Tabernacle turn? Sunder. No, I'm not locking up the game. I'm making it very hard for all these creature decks to to tap fifteen thousand mana or whatever they need. <laughs> oh. So actually, Tomo, you'll be okay with two creatures. You'll probably be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably our best thing to do, as you've been so mean to me this game. Stop helping Tomer. <laughs> I can't help it. I've got to get him on my side for future commander clashes if I get to be in um, ever. Tomer could still just hit a cheap extra turn spell. No. And yeah. maybe proceed to win. It's what hard. Do you mean, you know, I mean, maybe. I can still draw into something. Like five man extra turn spell plus creature and then go from there. Ooh. That's a cute, oh that's a cute little thing. Did it, did it. Uh oh. Hmm. What if I don't clock is at 30? Play Edric. Alright, <laughs> this is what I'm doing. Everyone else is like 45 plus. <laughs> so, yeah, three Ooh. mana cost to Caterpillar. <laughs> okay. Was that your cute little thing that you drew? Yeah. <laughs> it deals with Trinisphere. That does there get rid of Trinisphere. Or you wait to see what his tabernacle combo is. <laughs> well, whatever it is, he's going to want to wait until Seth ends step. Because he uh, definitely wanted to screw you guys. Uh oh. Oh, yes, that's true. Okay, I don't even know how these triggers resolve okay. together. All right, I want to see this. We're, we're going to see an old school combo now, kids. Get rid of a combo that costs it. On Moda, it costs four dollars. In paper, it costs the best part of three thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see it. Good old reserve list. Right, let's see the top card of my library. Okay, Go for cool. It. So, I think I have to. Well, I'm gonna play. Uh, so play tabernacle. Okay. Oh wait, what is this tabernacle? I've never seen it. Modo promo. It's so yes. weird that they commission new tabernacle art, but they can they can't reprint it because it's on the reserve list. Yeah. Or or maybe that's the plan all along is to eventually <laughs> playing the long card <laughs> over here. <laughs> Uh, it is so gorgeous. I know it does a... look good. I really want that in a foil. Ugh. But not on Modo. No. <laughs> does anybody actually play with, with online mm -hmm. foils? Is that He's convoking thing? something. What is Word this of combo? Of calling. Cord. Cord of calling. Which one is it? Well, I've got to deal with Richard Snikthos, otherwise my tabernacle doesn't do anything. Right. So I'm going to cord for three... Oh, Ravinap Excavator. Correct. Ooh. Three, two. 
and then I can strip strip him on the neck force. Wait, how does this do anything though? Seth still has his board. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be wait, like a wait, and <laughs> where's wait and see. Where's the no, last no, piece of this? No, this is this is the this is the weak part of it. I'm this expecting. The... Let's see, damping matrix, something like that. No, it's it's better. Oh than no, that. I think it's better than that. I'm not sure how the how it stacks. If you excuse the pun, that's the Nykthos. So Nykthos gone. down. At least it wasn't my reliquary tower. That would be sad. Oh, tangle wire. So I think Tab the tabernacle triggers are yours. The tangle wire trigger is mine. So it goes on active, non-active. Hmm. So yours go on, then mine go on. Mine resolve tapping your stuff. You can float the mana. Oh, I guess it doesn't stop the tabernacle from wrath. It doesn't make the tabernacle wrath you, but it does tie up a lot of mana, I guess. Yeah, that okay. that is annoying. Well, I'm playing stacks again. Gotta be the full bad <laughs> guy, right? Uh, that was a good turn. And now I can't even attack because this just makes everyone attack me anyway. But I do want to draw cards. The classic no, Edric okay. conundrum. But now, guys, you can sack your own Edrics to the tabernacle. I can uh, <laughs> also sack this Eldrami so I can untap my, <laughs> my <laughs> stupid elves. Uh, last turn would have been so sweet if I could have untapped. Uh. Right. So uh, this is quite the this is now I'm assembling a stacks thing, but I don't think this works quite how I want it to. I think you're gonna be able to flip the man up from single wire anyway. <laughs> look, look at this though. Oh look my at these tricks. Oh, this is the I believe this might be the first time and potentially the last time you'll ever see tabernacle triggers on a commander class. So I haven't Rick. played against tabernacle much. Has it always shown the creatures' pictures? I almost think that in cube before it was just like a bunch of tabernacle looking triggers. No, because the triggers are always of the creature uh, okay. itself. It's All the creatures so the have, yeah. Uh, so see. here's some interesting things about Tabernacle for a little fun fact. So all the creatures gain it themselves. So the trigger is your responsibility in competitive play. If you miss it, you're the one that gets the game rule violation, not the Tabernacle <laughs> player. Also, the deck that tends to play Tabernacle in Legacy is lands. And Marit Lage is indestructible. And Tabernacle doesn't make you sacrifice it makes you destroy. So you can miss the trigger on your own Marit Lage, and Marit Lage survives. So you get players often calling the judge, going, oh, he forgot his, Ma his Marit Lage trigger. And they're like, well, it doesn't matter, it's indestructible. It's just, yeah, so there's inter interesting stuff so about the tap four hmm. things. You do. And it's, I think it's also the most expensive card in Legacy. I don't think it's anything that costs more than $2,700. But it's two bucks online. It's <laughs> it's It's so stupid, but... I did email you guys saying like, I'm going to play two cards that are outside of normal budget restrictions because it fits the theme. I won't be playing Tabernacle next week, I promise. Or at least until Lord Windgrace gets printed, then I'll play it. <laughs> Tabernacle, How come I yeah. can't choose a land? You should be able to choose lands. Well, maybe it's asking it, you for creatures first, and then it's going to ask you for... Lands? It says, choose an untapped oh. artifact, creature, or land you control. Click a card to choose it, but I can't select any lands. Huh. What? I don't know. That's <laughs> awkward. All right, I'm going to press OK and oh, see what happens. Oh, no. We hadn't considered Smokestack being bugged, had we? Oh, it's only four. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, were you trying to tap more? I was more? trying to I tap see. five things. <laughs> I see. Okay. So really now I've got to Have you ever crossed six, six mana? One, two, three, four, five. Have any of you lived the dream of casting a Tangle Wire after a doubling season? I have not, but that sounds super no. sweet. <laughs> Me neither, but it's something that's on my bucket list. Tangle Wire is one of the most uh, like debated cube cards. Every time the powered cube comes up on Moto, Twitter is full of people. Like some people swear it's like one of the best cube cards you can draft, and other people think it's completely unplayable. Which is always I interesting when cards are that divisive. Yeah, definitely. I think it's. I think it can slot into the wrong decks more so than any other card in the cube. Probably. Like I've played it sometimes, and it's been insane. I've played it other times where it's got me killed. So. Yeah. Right, I can die now. Not like literally in real life, but in this game, because I've assembled some stacks. Oh wait, does Vin somehow not have an island? What? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pl I'm playing choke. I, I have no islands in my deck. You play choke. Oh, one of my... <laughs> I'm playing choke. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't have many I islands in my deck. I thought that was a joke, deck. but okay. No, it's not a joke. If you're playing full powered Edric, I'm gonna play choke Trinisphere Tangle Wire. Why are you attacking me, Richard? <laughs> I, I wonder why, then. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fully fair. It's fully fully understandable as to why you might attack me this game. No. Really? <laughs> so where's the caustic caterpillar going? Um, We'll find out on Seth's turn. 
Do you have counters? Uh, because Seth so has like a full board state of scariness, right? I like, think Seth's gonna win this turn. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, I, I feel like. Why Seth's does Caustic Caterpillar stop me though? It doesn't. But I think what Terry meant is he's gonna do it in your end step because he wants the tangle wire to slow you down. Oh, I see. Is that correct? Yeah. So how do we deal with tangle wire tabernacle? Good luck. <laughs> Someone hex parasite <laughs> this tangle wire. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got I've got peer in hand. I really wanted to cast it after I played peer, so I got one more counter, but I just couldn't I couldn't maneuver it. So, add five. See here, we see why Tabernacle isn't actually that good against elves, even like, in Legacy as well, because they have a Gaius Cradle sometimes for most of the time. So if you can't waste them off Gaius Cradle, they just tap the Gaius Cradle and pay for everything. And that's kind of what we're seeing with this Marwin the Nurturer as well. And this is one of the cards that I sadly had to uh, cut from the list. Bit expensive, yeah, it's very dull. Just a little, a little bit over the budget. T Tabernacle's not that bad. How much is Tabernacle these days? Uh, two dollars on Modo. Oh, <laughs> how much? How much uh, for a physical copy though? Uh, MCG Goldfish is at, at two thousand seven hundred dollars. <laughs> it's so expensive. How often do people actually buy these cards though? I've um, played so a lot of lands players in real life, so some people have. Yeah, like, they exist. a lot of them have picked it up when it was not as absurd a price. Like I'm sure, as it was a point yeah. where it was like a hundred dollars, and like okay, fine, I'll spend. Well, money. well, I mean, it, you could buy an Italian one for like eight hundred bucks only like a year ago, and now I think they're closer to sixteen hundred. So the, the the price spike is more recent with Tabernacle than anything else. It's crazy. I, I was seeing them change hands a little bit this year because I've got friends who are buying in and out of lands. So yeah, people do buy them. It's, it's, it's just different people have different disposable incomes, I guess, yeah. and different perceptions of what to play with. I'm sure some people are going to be quite annoyed that I've dared to play it on the Sacred Commander Clash, <laughs> but you've got to see it at least once, right? It is a sweet card and like super I'm unique. Sure we played it before. I played it in my Child of Alara lane stack stack, and that was yeah. not a happy week for people. <laughs> Oh, so Tabernacle has been played. Oh, yeah, on. we have. It's oh, yeah. so cheap online. Oh, I got, used I got to be, eviscerated oh. for it. It used to be that we all, didn't deck, care though. about paper budget at all up until this yeah. season. So we of would play that all these sense. expensive that cards sense. that are cheap on we, Moto. I'm pretty sure we played every obnoxious stacks card that Vince has played. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm pretty sure oh, they've sweet, all been sweet, seen. Sweet, see, <laughs> I get away with it. I get away with it. I mean, Jake, Jake, Jake was on the the first season. He he got a lot of the stacks and chaos out of the way early. Hmm. I played land stacks. What did you, what did you say? Do you want to see more chaos next week? Did you say? <laughs> I mean, then you could you could <laughs> continue to complain that I keep attacking you first. So yes. Uh, all right. So step one. Tomer's gonna ruin this for me, isn't he? Hmm. I all hope right. so. I don't want you to win. I don't want to win. What are you, what are you hitting oh. with this? Oh, Trinisphere? Deep root Coastal waters. Piracy. Coastal piracy. It only hits <laughs> artifacts. Oh. oh, I didn't even realize that. Yes, yeah, this is the bad so old one. So which one of my artifacts yeah, do you hate the this. most? <laughs> oh, this is not the infect one. It has to I be, really a, it has to be the Trinisphere. Yes, it is Trinisphere. It's done It's done its work. It's done its job. So blow that up. He says, as Toma wins. I mean, I'd like to win. Is your hand full of Noxious Revival and other similar similar effects? Uh, you'll see soon enough. Hopefully. Or, or just Seth that. wins. I don't know. I don't think I can win because of... Sounds like you need to kill Tomer. <laughs> I don't think I can win because of the... Of all things, Caustic Caterpillar. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Caustic you have a Caterpillar Beastmaster Ascension? Like, it down you... the fort. It, yes. it really is. All right, so... That's amazing. So what I wanted to do was... I mean, I, I don't actually have a great turn next turn either because my Idra costs seven mana. That costs the entire turn. I do need him around. I was going to. I'm going to see what what sweet things I can do, but play intruder oh, alarm. Because you've, oh. you've got coastal piracy plus two other Edrix in play. Hey, do you really need this is this is probably yeah. A thing I need that you I need, need literally Edrix on my battlefield. <laughs> is a problem. I I think you should uh, definitely caterpillar that caterpillar that intruder alarm into next week. I'll definitely yeah. think about caterpillar. it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> definitely think about it. Think if he sneezes, you do it. Oh, I think you uh. do it right now. Tomer, <laughs> let it live. Let it live. <laughs> no, because you're gonna you're gonna just cast elves for the rest of time. I would like to cast more elves. That's okay, right? 
I think you're gonna win the game with this. Oh, so I'm gonna yeah. Cost it, can it? The one, one for one. <laughs> the one, one for one. It draws everything. cards off Edric. Are you still disrespecting one drops? Uh, this thing did everything. Yeah, how dare you? <laughs> Nailed it. Oh. <laughs> we still might be able to piece this together. Oh man. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, oh, so cloud stone curio. Oh my. Gold. Gordon Bennett. <laughs> Whenever I touch the battlefield under your control. Okay. Mm hmm. But your mana dogs don't have haste, so there is that. Concordant crossroads. Oh Ranger. no, okay, there you go. Just as bad. See, I I'm playing Legacy Lands yeah, crossed with Affinity. Legacy Elves. Seth's over here. playing <laughs> Legacy Elves crossed with. Tom, are you going to counter my blue stuff? Uh, Tom, just let me win. I think you need to counter it. <laughs> Tomer. Tomer. No, was, do you uh, let me win? <laughs> that cannot resolve. He will win. Well, we might not. Well, two. probably will win. Oh, man. So. Well, then you better counter it. But you it. don't win if he wins. If you want to well, win. I should have stopped the clouds from Curio. But is this is this the worst elf he has? Oh man, I should have stopped the curio instead of this. This this is his. You had a counter spell position. and you didn't counter the curio. Yes, I was like, <laughs> I thought, oh. this, I, this better be a remove soul or something. <laughs> I could not counter the curio. Man, is this what I have to counter the rangers? Probably. Yes, it makes mana for every two elves in play. Therefore, he gets to play elves, bounce elves, play elves, bounce elves. Oh yeah, that's true. Is Glimpse of Nature banned in EDH? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a hmm. Of... I'm actually not sure. He's still making Ooh. a bunch of... Yeah. Okay. Manager, it's like 60 bucks, by the way. That's actually okay. So... I mean, I might have Force of Will. Jorga Tree Speaker. Seth, I might have Force of Will. Oh, oh man. I should have the carry on. Bro Morrowin. At least the Mana Drain is like a more reasonable price these days after Iconic Masters. Sometimes Master Sets do help. I'm so con wait. Whenever a non-artifact permanent enters the battlefield under control, you may return yes. another permanent you control that so, shares a permanent type with it. Yeah, so you have to let the trigger resolve, and on resolution you bounce something because there's no target. It's mm. it's only lighting up on my screen Jorga and Edric. Oh, and it won't let me choose anything. Am I missing something that is another keeping me from permanent type? They're creatures. You played a creature so you could be able to return any creature. So what I need to return is Wirewood Symbio. Yes. Maybe I'm doing... Well, I'm going to click... Yes? Oh, That's I don't weird. know if I want to click yes. <laughs> what are you targeting? Oh, okay. So apparently you have to click yes, yeah, and then it lets, uh, lets you select? Yeah, so it's, it's it's not targeted. It's upon resolution that it happens. So if someone killed your creature, one of your creatures in response, you'd still get to bounce something else? It's a result. It's a, it's a resolves on resolution. It happens. On so resolution. now I get to keep untapping my Morrowind. So you have infinite mana. Yeah, I should have stopped the curio. Well, yes. I just I didn't want to use my counter spell because I wanted to try and have a big turn on my turn. But even if I had a big turn on my turn, I still need to cast Edric, pass a turn, and then wait a full turn to actually. Again, uh, it's not infinite, right? Like it's arbitrarily big. Like he, he it, it, it's infinite for as long as he keeps having creatures. Yeah, in hand. I don't actually know if I literally win the game here. Although it's, Fauna Shaman it's should Fauna help. Fauna Shaman tutoring for anything. Like if you have a yeah, crater but, hoof, I guess. Oh, this is first main phase as well, I guess as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So he still has a combat phase to do crazy things. So you, oh, you, yeah, you definitely win because just create a hoof bounce and replay. The a other hoof, thing, bounce, the other replay. thing I also have is Elvish Visionary. So I guess I can just also draw my deck as I'm doing this. Uh yeah, that's, that's so got it. so I should be able to win somehow. Well, let's see it. Oh, if only Trinisphere was in play. <laughs> bom bom bom. No, he's just I, I should have stopped it. Would you would you have fizzled out if I stopped the curio? So greedy! Everyone is tapped out. Yes. And you wanted to save mana drain. <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, if you countered. Yeah, I needed well, one I, of my either Intruder Alarm or Curio to actually stick on the battlefield. So I had Chain of Vapor, and what I wanted to do on my turn is end of turn, end of Seth's turn, bounce the Tangle Wire, and that would give me a full turn of being able to do stuff. I was kind of afraid that somebody would just like randomly kill me because I'm at 15 and everybody has a board and not me. So I want to 
uh, Chain of Vapor, and then I have Noxious Revival in hand. Um, unfortunately, I have two. I have two extra turn spells, but they both. One of them is Karn's Temporal Sundering, which is a legendary spell. So I needed. Oh, I needed a legendary creature. And Notorious Throng is a tribal sorcery rogue with Prowl, and also needs a rogue. So. Both of them, I would have to play Edric, but I didn't return Edric to my hand. He went to the command zone, so it would cost seven. Ooh. So, yeah. So, would you have one last turn if Edric had went to your hand? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, don't, maybe. Maybe. Because then he would cost. Oh, three. I was. I was going to play Tezzer at the Seeker, down to him for four, go and find Iron Maiden and put it into play and pass turn, <laughs> and that should have shot that. Yeah, it does one damage per card in your upkeep, more than four in your hand. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so if Toma drew loads of cards, it would hopefully kill <laughs> Toma with a trigger on upkeep. But I'm fine dying that way, Ben. But that, but that's the only way I could have killed someone. Like I was miles from killing anyone. Like I just didn't have time to deploy. A th- I have a, I have a toothy in my hand since the beginning, and that's what I really want to hit people with. But obviously, things transpired to be very. All different. right, so I do. I have everything I need to win the game. Uh, so I don't believe you, Seth. Okay, I don't mind playing it out if you'd like me to. But how do you actually so, win? So, what I already have in my hand, so I don't even really need to draw more cards, is uh, the main piece is I have infinite mana by just looping and tapping the, and untapping this Morrowind. So I do that yeah. forever, and then I have Azuri in my hand, and I have four elves that are not summoning six, so the end result will be I just make I don't know, a few hundred mana and then overrun a few hundred times and attack you one each with an elf. Do they give trample? Uh, Azuri is a literal, yeah, plus three, plus three until oh, trample okay. for elf creatures. So it's a literal okay, overrun. So you, can, so you can kill Vince as well. I, and I blew up the crawl space too. So I believe that everyone will die. Uh, but do you have haste? I just have four elves, so you each get hit by one elf that's oh, like yeah, 300 power. Yeah, because I can yeah, yeah. attack them all inve- eventually, yeah. Okay, that that works for me then. I don't mind playing it out, GG. but <laughs> no, I'm, it's going to take a while, you. honestly. <laughs> your hand, your hand well, is in the video as well. It's not, it's not well, like you're, you can lie You guys want to do the outro while Seth does it, and then is that something the viewers would like uh, to see? If you want to, we can do the outro. I can try to make it as fast as possible. Oh, actually, um, hmm. I drew Master Biomancer, which also probably speeds it up slightly. <laughs> All right, well, Seth, you're you're doing that. Uh, let's hear a little bit about the Dexon, and we, we finish it up that way. Um, Richard, Merfolk, how is it? Um, not good when you're casting three mana one ones. <laughs> uh, so I told you guys I started with a Stax build. I still have Stax pieces in my deck. So there's a couple cards that let me untap everything. So there's a uh, Meryl Commerce, which is actually a tribal enchantment for Merfolk that lets me untap my Merfolk. And then I have Seedborn Muse and Wanderwine, or sorry, uh, Murkfiend Liege. So all of these things allow me to untap all my stuff every turn. So I actually have some lock pieces like Static Orb, Winter Orb, things like that oh in my, my deck. And I needed to get ahead. Like, there was no point in me dropping any of these because I was already so behind on board. But I just play a bunch of 1-1s, give them Island Walk, hit you all, draw cards. And then instead of taking infinite turns, I would actually just lock out the board and win like that. Uh, That's about it. The only other thing is uh, my Merfolk are kind of like Tomer's Flying Men, except they have abilities. So, like, my 1-mana 1-1s, I have some that... Uh, you know, change a land into an island so I can actually island walk through if you're like Vincent, don't have any islands. Uh, and then my, my more expensive Merfolk have abilities. I have the ability to counter spells with Merfolk. I have the ability to bounce creatures with Merfolk. So if I actually got rolling, I think I, I could actually control the board quite well, but I was never able to go ahead because I was just casting one creature every turn and then and then the game kind of ended. So, so Trinisphere hurts. I, I had answers for it, but I never drew it. A Crows and Grip, mm-hmm. Beast Within, things like that. Uh, but it's it's pretty cool. Secret Tech was Jace, Architect of Thought. His plus one gives all my opponent's creatures uh, minus one, minus zero when they attack. So you oh, guys wow. can't draw cards off each other uh, while I can. And uh, didn't, get, didn't get to see Jace, but that would have been funny. That was that was quite the medicals there. There there is one interesting thing though. Um, oh, all oh, right. 
Here's Azuri, by the way, for everybody. Yeah, we're so getting infinite close. Mana, yeah, getting to the infinite overrun. He just has to untap uh, three attackers, and he's basically gone in it. Um, the, people keep mentioning, or you mentioned Winter Orb, Static Orb. I don't know if those are good pieces against Edric, though, because all our the the converted mana cost, the average converted mana cost of a typical Edric deck is very very low. So I would think those aren't really effective. Whereas on the opposite end, Trinisphere is promoting people to play things of higher converted mana cost. That's really effective against Edric because you're playing one drops and two drops essentially. So well, my theory is if you want to duke it out with creatures, I'm always gonna win. Yeah, because my Merfolk will be four four five five, just literally unblockable. Uh, so what I'm really yeah. worried about is you guys chaining off uh, either extra turns or uh, bouncing the entire board, like the expense of things, right? So if, yeah. if you guys want to spend one ta one turn untapping a land and playing a one one, like by all means, because I'm going to be untapping all my stuff and just deploying Burfolk after Morfolk. So that was the theory. Yeah. Didn't actually get to test it. <laughs> that's what I was going to do. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were the only one with ideas on how to counter Edric this week. Uh, <laughs> speaking of Vince, we gotta see some of the hate pieces. Trinisphere being the all star of this game, um, just the fact that you know, average Edric decks are going for such low converted mana cost. Um, three of the ta the ones at the table, even though they had different archetypes, were all going for that sort of strategy. Um, the Trinisphere was very effective, probably the most effective card in the entire game. Um, what were the other pieces that you were running that we didn't get to see? We got to see Tangle Wire Crawl, crawl Space is good against go wide strategies. Uh, what were the other sweetness? So, um, my other sub theme was artifacts. So, I had everything from Hangabout Walkers and Walking Ballistas to Ethereum Sculptors, Frexian Revokers, Steel Overseers, like all the, all the proper uh, affinity bits. Then, I also had things from mud in legacy and vintage so i had foundry inspectors and i had lodestone golems so i had like that sort of staxi prison like idea going on and then i had obviously your you saw crawl spaces um and staring bridges oh, and staring bridge in here and then i had shooters for them i had were i had tether the seeker and i had fabricate to try and find the correct piece for the correct time and which one my next plan was trying to get tether to go find another lock piece um, i also had ugin's nexus at five which stops extra turns so I assume at least one or two of us would be on the extra turn plan. Um, but aside from that, yeah, I just I was just playing like an artifact deck that played, you know, lock pieces that I could then I could at least reuse them as like sacrifice fodder to um, my Artbound Ravager or my what's the new blue dude that makes the Thopters? What's his name? Sai. Sai. Uh, Sai. Yeah, I got a Sai in here as well. Or I should have. I, meant, I put. One, yeah, I do. I do. So I have ways to like destroy the lock pieces when I need to like undo the lock and start attacking, for example. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my deck, really. Um, I need to play some haymakers like Toothier making big, but I never really got to do it. I think our game was dominated by turn order. So in the same way that Toma yourself, you got ahead because of turn order. I got to play Trinisfall before Richard got to go. Hmm. So it was sort of like a circular logic where everyone got behind. And then ironically, I'm saying that, but the person who went last is now <laughs> winning. So perhaps I'm talking nonsense, but I just felt like turn order was really important. You didn't stack and them. <laughs> you get infinite well, I did, mana. I did. But uh, yeah, I couldn't stop that. And the, the other thing I was going to say is that it's interesting that Richard was playing some stacks bits. Firstly, a lot of the comments are going to be written already about how much they're annoyed at the cards I played this week. And now this bit has been revealed and hopefully people will go back and edit or read comment, but probably not. And secondly, it's funny because he's kept very quiet about it. And perhaps I'm just going to say that that can be a lesson for us all that when we come into a game ready to bear some grudges, it might be worth considering that the other two players at the table do not have your best interest at heart, are going to either combo kill you like Seth is doing, or play stacks effects and just not tell you. So I think that's an interesting thing we can all learn from, I guess. Sure. I thought about like if I saw a winter sphere and I was like oh I'm trying to cast my big spells I'd be like pretty annoyed at Richard too and I'd be attacking him straight off the bat too you just drew my ire right off the bat by mentioning oh by the way I'm going to try and nullify your entire deck don't attack that's me that's kind of what I'm yeah exactly that's, that's kind of what I'm trying to say I wasn't saying don't attack me this game I was just saying Straight out the bat, attacking the threat doesn't always work because I mean, Rich has got the highest win rate in Commander Clash this season, right? True. Like, it's not always it's not always the obvious things that you have to be scared of, I'm, and that's well, that's the point. I'm pretty sure make. that's not even true. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure Tomer has won like I don't know eight of last ten games. See, or something, in this right? season, his, de- yeah, his, his deflection, his deflection is so good <laughs> that I forgot that he keeps combo. <laughs> He's got me believing I'm the combo player at this table. As Seth sits there combo out. I, I'm pretty sure like Tomer has the most road combo road. wins this season. <laughs> I think he Those might are... have the most overall wins. I was thinking, like, so, so I mean, I could kill you. The other thing is, <laughs> I also have Guilt Leaf Archdruid, and I could just tutor up seven druids and steal all of your lands and pass the turn. I guess I probably won't do that, but I'm very tempted <laughs> to do that. <laughs> I mean, you could do that and then kill us. Uh, it's gonna take too much time. I'll just kill you. I think. I think I very much have lethal here. So that is a thing that's still. <laughs> if on you the do that, you list. gotta go infinite again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Repeat that 10, 20 minute process. Yeah, it takes. Turn. It takes too long. So let's see. Uh, highest life total. This one goes at Richard. This one goes at Vince. This one. Uh, Tomer, you get to get killed by the the elf druid token. Nice art. Oh, so, if okay, I only okay. had fog. I have some fog effects in my deck. Oh by man, the way. a fog would really get me here. Although <laughs> we would have this all wrap up discussion and be like, surprise, <laughs> fog. But I have a relic right now. I would be worried about Teferi's protection, but not on Idris. Did like, we- I think we if kind of had that one time. I think we were all wrapping it up, and like Tom had a Rakdos charm in his hand, <laughs> and I lost. Yes, I thought I was winning. Yeah. Yeah, and we were doing like the wrap up, and then he was like, "Oh, by the way, I win." <laughs> well, y'all talked. A great way to end it. Y'all talked about your deck. You kind of got to see my deck. It's like sort of a combo deck. It really, it's elf beatdowns. I have all the elf lords. The main plan was to give my elf forest walk, which is something elves are good at. So then I could keep attacking and drawing cards with. Edrix and everyone's Edrix. I also had a couple of techie pieces with propaganda and collective restraint, I think it's called, which is like a four mana propaganda that cares about domain. Uh, you keep things from attacking you unless they pay equal to the number of different basic land types you control. Uh, so those were my plans for stopping people from beating me down. And then I was thinking I would just like draw cards, beat down with elves, maybe just kill people by attacking. And if not, I could steal all your lands with Guilt Leaf Arch Druid. Uh, or I could go on the combo plan where I could use Intruder Alarm to just like keep untapping all my mana stuff and hopefully draw enough cards with Edric that I would just flood the board. Or as you saw, Clouds from Curio works really well with elves as far as comboing gives, especially with Morrowind, which is a pretty new addition. Uh, also works with uh, Elvish Arch Druid, the three mana lord that taps for mana equal to the number of elves you control. But if you get one creature that taps for a bunch of mana, it's pretty easy to go infinite in the way we just saw there. That looks really sweet. I mean, Elf... I, I haven't seen Edric Elf Ball before. I've seen Mono Green Elf Ball before. I've seen Selesnya Elf Ball with Salvala before. But I haven't seen the blue side. Um, yeah, I think like picking up Intruder Alarm and stuff like that seems like pretty nice for getting on the blue side of things. Um, and yeah, uh, leaving the Elf deck alone kind of leads to, to nastiness later on. As we saw, there's a lot of ways that you can win the game and oh, it ramps up all, around and also well. uh i think i would have won the game a turn earlier if it wasn't for that <laughs> lord that gives shroud that outdated lord because <laughs> i yeah, had the combo pieces i needed it. but i couldn't untap my mana so so i think i would have won a turn earlier so i'm not sure that that card is actually good in the deck it's really good with edric <laughs> because it protects your yeah. elves and you get to draw cards but it's yeah. actually kind of clunky with the combo part of the deck yeah, it it is a staple in Edric in in typical Edric decks. But if you have to target your own creatures, which is not typical in Edric decks, then that that could definitely bite you. Um, I guess to wrap it up, speaking of of typical Edric, this deck is basically the personal list that I have. It's 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 really close to just like uh, a basic Edric competitive style of play, um, just with our our typical ban list. Um, there isn't it. Uh, the synergy is more subtle than like a certain tribe because you're mostly like a one cover and mana cost evasion tribal deck. Like you're running scribe sprites, which are fairies. You're running like uh, mist cloaked heralds, which are merfolk. You're running like siren storm timber, which are like pirate wizards. So creature types um, don't seem to matter at least at first glance. However, there are like some sub-tribal synergies. For example, there are a lot of mana dorks that are run in Edric decks that happen to be elves, including Edric himself, who is an elf. And they don't have any um, 
evasion of their own. So Eladomri, Lord of Leaves, is an excellent um, choice in the deck because not only does it give your elves Shroud, which you're running a high concentration of just by chance, but it also gives them Forest Walk, which again gives gives your Mana Dorks and your Edrix evasion where they otherwise wouldn't have any. Um, there is a little bit of Fairy Synergy as well. Um, the biggest one being Spell Stutter Sprite, which is a counter spell that can counter, counter a spell convert mana cost X or less equal to the number of fairies you control and it just so happens that you have a good amount of fairies there's also the most powerful card in the in the entire deck is notorious throng it's a tribal sorcery rogue card which is what edric is it gives you it's basically the best extra turn spell in the entire game um in an edric deck and so there's a couple of the uh unblockable cheap unblockable dudes that are also rogues so if you don't have um edric on the battlefield fairy miscreant for example is a fairy rogue it can trigger that so there are synergies there in the deck, but for the most part, it's just attack with your creatures, run as many of the extra turn cards as you can, because as you attack, you draw a lot of cards, which lets you play more cheap creatures, which lets you draw more cards, and some of the lists that I saw online don't have any real like finisher, which I found a little bit odd. They just had a bunch of extra turn cards, and you just win with like 1-1s and 2-2s. I'm not sure if that's the best way. I guess maybe it is because those might have more playtime on them. But I'm running Triumph of the Hordes, creates your creatures infect, and also Beastmaster's Ascension, which turns your creatures into plus fives, plus five uh, smashers, just to speed up the, the, the game. And those are the two finishers. It's just like one ones attack, draw cards, take extra turns, uh, drop a finisher, hopefully, and, and win the game that way. It's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. That is it for the Edric Bowl. I hope everybody enjoyed. And next week we don't really have a. Do we have? Do we have a plan? Uh, no. I don't think we officially well, okay. have a plan yet. Uh, we'll announce what next week is. We'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed, and we'll post on Twitter or something what what our next plan is going to be. So until then, everybody, see ya. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.